just left work, and this is what I'm stuck in right now. Yeah, buddy. Just came out of nowhere. It just started raining. It's 40, like, 47 degrees outside right now. It just started randomly raining in Florida. 47 degrees, rain. Yeah. All right, well, on my way home. See you guys in a bit. What's up, guys? Just got home. It's a little rainy outside, and it's cold. Got myself a drink of water, getting prepared for the video in case I get thirsty throughout the video, like right now. Mmm. Mmm. Gotta hydrate, it's so good for you. So, I am actually really excited. I got home, and there was a box, and it was sitting there waiting for me to open it, and I was thinking about this box all day. All day. Well, I'm home now, I have the box. It's right here. This is the second thing that I get really excited for, other than drones, is RC boats. Today, I have the upgraded Generation 2 Phelan F12, let's see, FT012, FT12, brushless speedboat. Now they say, what, 45, 45 kilometers an hour? So basically, roughly cuts into about 25 miles per hour on the water, but I've heard of people putting some massive props on these things and making them go super fast. And upgrading the 3S LiPo that comes in this with a 3S 30C as opposed to a 3S 25C, and I've heard of people using 40C rated batteries. So apparently you can push these things pretty darn hard. Let's open it up and have a look inside. See you guys in a minute. All right, I'm back. Had to get a knife. We got some tape we got to cut here. There we go. And one over here. Gah. Beautiful. Let's pull these latches and have a look inside. Oh, I'm so excited for this. You guys have no idea. Oh, sweet. I already like the presentation, to be honest with you. That is cool. Smaller than I expected. But, oh, let's not take that too far because that has stuff in it. This one, however, does not. Oh, yeah. This is actually very heavy, surprisingly. I was not expecting this to be so heavy. Um, wow. That must mean that... Let's go ahead and uh, pull this off. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. And then lock, unlock. Is that unlock? Oh, no. Lock, unlock. Unlock and unlock. Oh, that's cool. So that just goes in there real smooth. And then all the locks go down. That is awesome. This actually looks really well made. I'm not sure what this, the rock salt is for. Uh, I wouldn't expect there to be too much moisture in here, but this is this is actually a pretty nice little setup, man. I'm very surprised by the uh, uh, build quality of this. This is... Uh, Looks like it was very well built, surprisingly. And uh, that brushless motor actually looks like it's uh, very nice as well. So, it'll be interesting to see how bad this little puppy actually tears it up on the water. But this definitely has a good weight to it. It feels just heavy solid. And uh, I love what they have going on back here. These are probably stabilizers. And then it even has down paddles to keep it from hopping across the water too much. Look at this, this is cool. It's got a little water cooling chute right here. So it, as it's speeding, it looks like it sucks it up into here and then it goes up there and then it looks like it travels up to the motor, goes through the motor line and then it looks like it travels up through the ESC and then back out and then over to this line and it looks like it shoots the water out right there. That is cool. Very nifty water-cooled system. I'll be very curious to see how well that works. Uh, I would think you would probably have to be going pretty fast to actually make that work properly. I don't think going slow speeds would really help, so I may end up actually hooking a scoop on this and carrying it a little bit more underneath the boat so that the scoop just is automatically always pulling water as opposed to having to go fast and then shoot it up in there. That's something we'll have to look at. Let's uh, let's set this down. I don't want to leave it on the tail too long. Okay, yeah. See, I already don't like that. That's not. Uh, let's hang it off the uh, back a little bit like this. All right. That way we're not setting any tail pressure on anything. 
Let's see if we can get this out of here. Oh, that is a big battery. Yeah, 3S, okay. 3S, 25C, 11.1 volts. Oh my God. <laughs> a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. That's crazy in this little tiny package here, man. I'm uh, very surprised by the size of the battery of this. Well, uh, we'll get this charged up and uh, there's a nice little place that I know of around the corner that we can test this out at. Let's check that servo. Let's see how well that uh, seems solid. It's even got a little like uh, spring there. Allows you to put some serious pressure on it going the other way. That's cool. That'll be interesting to see how good that servo works. All right, well, let's push this aside for a sec. And uh, <laughs> I love it. It looks super clean. Let's see what else we got in here. So we got another one of these types of chargers. These are mounting, by the way, guys. I have a ton of these now. Let's, uh, and we got another one with a silly overseas plug. I wish they would stop doing this. I'm just going to go ahead and glue this on there because these do not stay very well. This one looks like it. Nope, it's still spring-loaded. I hate that. Ugh. If you know it's going to the U.S., just send me a U.S. plug, man. This is so silly that I have to do all this kind of stuff. Anyways, all right, whatever. I'll, uh, we'll keep moving there. Is that all that's in that little foam package? Yes. Let's see what we got in this one here. My guess is transmitter. If I can get it open. Let's see what that did. Absolutely nothing. Well, this is packaged very weird. There's so many little uh, flaps and stuff here. Let's see if that pulls it out. Yes. Ooh, wow. Okay, tons of stuff. That is a big transmitter. I was not expecting such a large transmitter. What else do we have here? Oh my gosh, we have a ton of stuff. Okay. Well, let's pull this apart and have a feel. I'm probably gonna have to go get some serious batteries for this. Oh, it's got a screw, can't take it out yet. Trigger feels pretty well made. This feels like it's pretty spring-loaded. It feels like it's decent. Doesn't feel too bad. Looks like you got your throttle trims in here and probably your steering trim. Yep, throttle and steering. And uh, on off. So, pretty basic transmitter, nothing too crazy. Be curious to see how many batteries it takes. We'll look at that here in a second. Let's see what they gave us here in the, uh, oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. This probably is pretty self-explanatory. Boom. <laughs> and, is that right? Yeah, pretty sure I got that right. Does this side not work as well as that side? Oh, you know what? It probably has to go like that. Mm, gotta be smarter than what you're working with here, guys. Look at that. That is cool. How about that? We're actually going to go ahead and take the battery out here. Come on out of there. Let me strap all this back on real quick. If I can get that in there. We'll just set that on top for the moment. Lid goes in first, then the back. I like that. And we got some nose cones, it looks like. Nose cones, is that correct? Looks like a nose cone. Let's see if we can get that on there. Yes, we can. Nice, in case it bounces off of stuff. I like that a lot. I like it. This is a sweet little setup, guys. I'm actually like super excited now that I've seen it. And I've got it in my hands. So we got, looks like two extra props and another uh, nose cone here. That's pretty awesome. I'm, uh, I'm glad they supplied that. Now, the big question, are the directions any use to anyone, or are they just complete trash? Let's see here. Let's have a quick look over these. What do we got? All right. Initial setup. Well, this is built so weird here, how they've got this going on. Okay. Installation. Let's see how this looks. Push trigger, remote control, things now. Turn left, turn right. Uh, fine adjustments towards left. Okay. All right, well, you know what? The, the instructions, if I don't throw them like, at people, die. Uh, the instructions are actually pretty nice. They're very easily worded. Uh, it's not like some crazy Chinese, half Chinese. These are all in English. And uh, 
it looks like it's very easy to read. So, I can't complain about this. The only thing that I'm not happy about is that they don't give you a parts guide in case you wanted to order individual parts for this. That is kind of depressing that it doesn't have a parts guide. With that being said, there's not really too many parts here that you really gotta pay attention to. Um, I would say that it even came with grease and a uh, little wrench there, so that's nice that the grease is there. Um, I believe probably some of that would go in here for the propeller hole to keep water from getting inside the propeller line. And uh, they say to make sure that you grease and lubricate everything that moves before you actually go out and play with it. So all of this stuff is completely dry. I will probably have to go through and uh, use that grease they gave me and uh, grease all these joints up. So it looks like I've been provided with three props. Um, now I know that people have been upgrading this to a 30 millimeter prop and it makes it go super fast on a 40C3, uh, yeah, 40C 3S uh, lipo, ball of, uh, bat lipo, ball of, uh, lipo battery. So we will probably be doing something like that, but the first couple runs we're going to do are definitely going to be stock. I want to get a feel for it, see how fast it actually goes, you know, and uh, if I can somehow, I don't know if I can, I might be able to, no, it's too small, I was going to say if I could fit my phone in there, I would do a GPS run with it, but I don't think it'll fit, so, well, this is the first look at the FT-012 brushless uh, high-speed race boat from Phelan. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Very, very well made, it looks like. It's actually a fingerprint magnet, I can tell you that right now. So, <laughs> I may get a custom paint job here at some point. I can see my fingerprints all over it, but it does look pretty nice. My, my understanding is that this is the exact same size as the uh, FT-009, but the FT-009 is a brushed version, and this is the upgraded brushless version. They're both water-cooled, and uh, but apparently this one is super fast and the other one is like moderately fast. So I'm actually, like I said, very excited for this. We're gonna go ahead and charge the batteries up tonight. I did order a cheap, cheap waterproof 4K Wi-Fi camera that I'm gonna put a mount right here on and uh, I don't care if I lose it because it was a $25 camera. I don't even know how good the footage is, but I'm not going to strap a GoPro to this because this goes fast enough that if it were to roll and it would put too much pressure on the on the camera, it would just snap the camera off and then it would float to the bottom and that would be the end of it. So we are going to put the cheap camera on here when that comes, but uh, I should be able to get a chance to test this tomorrow. We're going to go ahead and charge this battery up tonight and and I have some uh, rare earth magnets that I'm going to be gluing to the front of this. And uh, I will go ahead and explain why in a later video why I'm putting the magnet on the tip here. But uh, let's just say boat rescue in a very nifty way, okay? So, drone worship guys, this is the FT-012 by Phelan. Phelan, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Looks very nice, has a good feel, came with extra props, everything you need to get started, get out on the water and have a blast. This is ready to race. I'm excited. Drone worship, and I'm out. Toodaloo. Hail to the king.